So we have this request from a very good follower of our page, um, Matmasoft, and uh, I'm going to solve these one after the other. So these are the questions. We have about four questions here that has to do with substitution. So let's take the first one. The first one we have if r equals k plus 1 over k minus 1. So we are to express express 2r minus 1 over 2r plus 1. So this is actually what we have been asked to do. We are to express this. The only thing is that we must actually what bring in the value of r so that all the answers will now appear in terms of k so exactly so let me say that again if r so we have been given what r is so if r equals to this express so this is actually the command this is actually what the question wants us to focus on this is what we need to express okay we need to express this but when we are expressing this our answers being left in terms of k means that the only letter that is allowed, the only unknown that is allowed to appear in our final answer is k. So, and that will be possible when we substitute the value we have been given for r here. So, let's uh, attempt that now and see how we work with that. So, we can now see that we have a solution. So we have 2r minus 1 over 2r plus 1. This is what they want us to deal with. So we bring in the value of r. So put r equals, you can write substitute r equals, so anyhow you want to use the grammar. So you just say now we have 2 here. So that's 2. Anywhere you see r, you put k plus 1 over k minus 1 to represent r then you have minus 1 then you have all over 2 brackets k plus 1 over k minus 1 then you have plus 1 so this is what we are going to simplify now until we get it to the simplest uh, form so we can say here that we have our numerators to be 2 bracket k plus 1 over k minus 1 then minus 1 let's put this in bracket and then this line that we have here this division line let's change it to division then we write the denominator 2 bracket k plus 1 over k minus 1 right plus 1 then into bracket so if we resolve this like a uh, we are looking for SCM. Let's put this over one so that it will appear like a fraction. So that will be the SCM will be k minus one, and then k minus one and k minus one. K minus one we in k minus one will give us one. One times what we have here in the numerator that will still give us two bracket k plus one. Okay, that's just fraction. I'm just trying to explain it. One in this. Okay, one in this will give us k minus 1 and then we can now say that minus k minus 1 times 1 that we have there we give us minus 1 into bracket k minus 1 and then we have this in bracket then we have our division the other side also we do it that way the SCM will be k minus 1 so this will be 2 bracket k plus 1 then we have plus 1 bracket k minus 1 okay all into brackets so we can now say we have 2 bracket k plus 1 okay minus 1 multiply this okay we give us minus k plus 1 all over k minus 1 divided by here also we have 2 bracket k plus 1 plus k minus 1 over k minus 1. Now we can say we have, let's open this, let's put it in bracket, then let's open that, that will be 2k 
plus 2 minus k plus 1, okay? Over k minus 1, and we have it divided by 2k, alright? Let's separate it with brackets. 2k plus 2 plus k minus 1 over k minus 1. Right, that's all we have in that place. So these brackets. So 2k minus k will give us k. 2 plus 1 will give us plus 3 over k minus 1. And we have it divided by 2k plus k. On that other side also, we give us 3k. Plus 2 minus 1 will give us plus 1. Then we have over k minus 1. So let's change division to multiplication. So we have k plus 3 over k minus 1 times k minus 1 over 3k plus 1. So this cancel this. And that will give us k plus 3 over 3k plus 1. What does that mean? In other words, it means that 2r minus 1, okay, that's what we just simplified, 2r minus 1 over 2r plus 1 equals to this. So you can see in our final answer, it is only k that appears there. So we have been able to simplify it, or rather express it as they put it, that we should express it in terms of a. And that's exactly what we have done. So you can watch that again but join me in solving the next question is also like this so that you will see it better how this is actually being done and any question you see in this category you'll be able to tackle it so we have some examination questions like this very very common in most of our basic examination thank you and bye